Greetings, Pookie fans! Michael here, and I am obsessed, obsessed with new Pokemon Snap, the brand new spin off game on the Nintendo Switch where you go through absolutely gorgeous and interesting and beautiful courses taking photos of Pokemon. It's a sequel to the original N64 game. I've been playing through the game over on my second channel, MNJ TV Plays, which you should totally subscribe to. I have lots of fun videos there. But I wanted to make a video here on this channel where I flex on all of you and show off my best photos that I've taken in Pokemon Snap so far. I am recording this video on May 4th. May the 4th be with you, of course, which means I've got the 30th, the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd, four total days under my belt of playing. I have beaten the main story, gotten a photo deck score over 2 million, so do with that information what you will. It will contain spoilers for Pokemon you can find, so be wary of that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please and thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And let's dive into my best picks from new Pokemon Snap. All right, so we're gonna hop into the internet segment because that is the only place I found to like look at all of your photos based on score. The ones you didn't save to the album. I've done very little album saving because I'm just like, oh, we'll just save it in the photo decks. Anyways, um, I l like that the number one recommended photo for me is just a photo of Buffalon's butt. <laughs> Damn, boy, he fit! That's incredible. So we're gonna go to my page. This is the last warning that this is gonna contain spoilers for a lot of stuff in Pokemon Snap. We're gonna go here, three, two, one, here we go. This is my page. Feel free to try and find it and send me lots of sweet medals. I have 916, goodness. So these are the six photos I have uploaded so far. These two I uploaded just last night. Uh, this is a really cool Charizard photo, four stars, uh, level three volcano. I played the heck out of the volcano a couple nights ago. I, I swear to God, I did it 20 consecutive times just because I was enjoying it so much. Uh, and I like had like registered Aerodactyl photos, but I kept wanting to get more. And oh my gosh, I, I so far am not really targeting course scores. I've been targeting more filling out my photo decks with high scoring photos. Um, I care more about that than getting good core scores. Maybe I'll work on getting good core scores later. Pokemon 7, John, my very good friend, he has twice sent me photos of him getting in the top 35, top 27, or like, those were weirdly specific. He got number 35 and number 27. I just remember the numbers on two different courses in the entire world of course scores. So he is really good at the course score stuff. This is a photo I took last night of Xerneas uh, in level two of the Illumina stage in the ruins. I was very bad at the first time, but level two, it's a lot easier or maybe I got better. I don't know, it just shows up a lot more. And this is my highest scoring photo so far. 5,418, absolutely crushed it. It's one star, but and like, Auto was gonna do a different one, but I was like, I feel like I have to save this photo. Cause look, it's it's perfect. Let's enlarge it. I forgot I can do that. It's, and then look, like I had just, I just hit Umbreon and Natu with an apple and upset them. <laughs> and so Xerneas is angry at me for doing that, but it's like, look at this photo I got. Realized I should enlarge the Charizard photo. Look at him. He's so pretty. I don't know why this is four star over the others. I think I might've hit him with an apple. That might've triggered it. Here's my Waylord photo. Hey. Hey, got really good pose. I think I got 2000 size points. I did, I did. So this is another really high scoring one of mine, 4,600. I got that on May 1st. Oh, I didn't notice the date. Yeah, so I got Xerneas last night. I got that yesterday. Oh no, that's when it was uploaded. Never mind. That's not when it was taken. This is one of my professor's choice photos. Uh, the professor was the one to decide that this was worthy of being online. Um, this is from one of my first couple times behind the waterfall in the jungle. I couldn't figure out how to get behind the waterfall on my own. I like looked it up and I could only get it to work at night. And then my editor, Katie, told me how to get behind it during the day. So that's how I got this Sobble photo. Uh, part of me wants to remove it so he can do a different professor's photo. I think I'm gonna do that. The photo doesn't die. It's in my photo decks, but I want him to pick a different one because I'm not a huge fan of that one. The shift tree one I took last night, 4,700, I knocked it off the tree and it turned around and I got it in the middle of being like, hey, punk. I'm pretty pleased with this one. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> he's just like, you there, come at me. This Metapod photo I've gotten a lot of sweet medals for. This is the four star Metapod when they're in the middle of using Harden. I found this completely by accident the first time. I was just playing the melody. I think I was, 
It's interesting because to get behind the waterfall on the jungle at night, you have to play a melody to wake up the leopard and the picky pack. To get behind it during the day, you have to hit the leopard with an Illumina orb before it falls asleep. But I didn't know that. I was still trying to do the melody and it wasn't working and I turned around and saw these guys freaking out and hardening and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So my first four star Metapod photo was not very good. I caught it or I got it on camera, but it wasn't very good. So I decided to do it again intentionally triggering it and I got this photo, which I am very, very pleased with. I think this might be my most sweet medals, 78. No, I've gotten 521 on this Starly photo that I don't even think is that good. <laughs> I mean, it's a three star, but it's only silver. It's only 3,400 and somehow I've gotten 500 sweet medals on this photo. I don't understand. Anyways, here's a Golisopod. Oh my gosh, the first time going in the deepest reaches of the underwater level. Ooh. That was a spiritual experience. And then of course, here's the Starly taking a drink at the camp. Professor picked it. People really liked it apparently. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I thought that Xerneas photo was my highest scoring photo. It's not. <laughs> that one at the bottom there is my highest scoring. A different Xerneas photo. The two star one where he's just sitting. Oops. Yeah, so I've been looking around and annoyingly the only way to view a list of your individual photos sorted by score is by like trying to upload a new one to the internet. <laughs> because going to your photo decks, it, it sorts them by total photo deck score for that Pokemon. So you may have like a top scoring one star photo, but no other photos for that Pokemon, it won't be ranked highly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this Waylord photo. Doesn't have that many sweet medals. It's been here for a while and I'm going to potentially upload a new one. And these are now sorted by score. So this is how we're gonna look through my photos. So this is my top scoring photo so far, uh, 5,500. It's just sitting there and I hit it with an Illumina orb. But you can see the little stripes. So pretty cool, pretty exciting. This is another one of my top scoring photos. This is my four star Celebi. I did not look up how to do this. I. Got a picture of it the first time I went through. I've been through the forest a lot. And then one time I hit it with an Illumina orb and then I saw it show up later to eat an apple, which is literally the next photo. And then after that, I saw it sitting on the ruins. And I got a picture of it sitting on the ruins, but I was like, oh, I wanna make sure this photo is saved. So then I did it again. And then I looked over and saw more Celebi show up and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then they flew around the tree and I snapped this photo. And while it's not the most centered amazing thing, the fact that there's four of them, I mean, other Pokemon gave me 861 points, which is a lot compared to 77 on this one. So even though my size score isn't as good, the, the other Pokemon really drove that up. And then of course, this is it eating. It's very cute. Ha ha, it is I, Grunty Boy. Don't waste my time, Grunty Boy. Just tell me why you're here. I am hungry. Will you feed me? Why would I? Your sworn enemy give you food because deep down you really care about me and don't want me to starve? Nope. Because I won't leave you alone until you do? That's the one. You can have one of my snacks from Boxu, the sponsor of this video. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that gives you original assortments of Japanese snacks and tea. Each box follows a theme like this one, which is Seasons of Japan. The boxes include a culture guide that explains the items inside with nutritional info and where the snacks come from many of which come from 100 plus year old family snack makers. Wow, they have some really old people making their snacks. No, the families have been making the snacks for over a hundred years. The individual people aren't, well, I suppose they might be. Well, that sounds incredible. Does it ship straight from Japan? That it does. This stuff is authentic and it ships free to the United States. Man, it's too bad we live in Kanto. We live in Texas. Speak for yourself. Whatever. Anyways, which snack do you want? We've got some uh, Hokkaido red bean donuts. We've got some mochi puffs. We've got some, uh, ooh, uh, puku puku tie. How about you just hand me the box and I'll sift through them and pick one. Nice try. Take the puku puku tie and get out. Fine. Now, what do you say? Um, viewers can get 10% off Boxu by using your link and code in the description and then get it delivered right to their door? Well, yes, actually, but I was going to say thank you. You're welcome? Oh my God, just leave. All right, fine, but not before I tell you Thank you. And also, I really enjoyed this unboxing. That was hilarious. I know, ta-ta! Thanks so much to Boxu for sponsoring, but now, back to the video. This Volcarona photo, if you've seen the episode 
on my second channel, you'll know the story behind this. The first time I did this Illumina boss, I couldn't figure it out. They never suggested throwing apples at it in the audio. If they did, I just missed it. So I didn't know what to do and I just, I got no photos after and I was pissed. So then I looked up what to do and I was like, oh, you throw apples at it. Why would you throw apples at it? It's surrounded by fire. They would be incinerated instantly. So thinking too hard about physics <laughs> made me not figure it out. But then even once, I figured it out. I still failed to hit it with apples at all until the very, very end. This was either the last or the second to last photo I took from that run. And it was freaking perfect. This was my highest scoring photo from the time I took it until the time I beat the main story because these are all post main story photos that you can't get. So this was my top scoring photo for a long time. So it was crazy how it was so terrible and garbage. And then I got that right at the end and it was amazing. This is a pretty straightforward Meganium photo. I don't believe this is from my first run. I think this is from level two. Obviously it's not looking at me, but the size is really good. Um, so that got me a lot of points. Yeah, perfect size score, perfect pose score. I think you might get more pose points on the Illumina bosses because on level two, you don't have to get photos of it in the Illumina state. Oh, after you get it in the Illumina state the first time, you're good. But I think you get a lot more pose points if you get pictures of it in the Illumina state. And I think that's what happened here. I got 1500 pose points, which might be the max. And also 2000 size points really helps. Size is the most important metric in my experience because it has the highest max. Direction and placement have a max of about a thousand. Pose has a max of 1500, I believe. Other Pokemon I think is a max of a thousand, but that's really hard to get. So size, above all, like if you have to pick between them, go for size. This is from my first time behind the waterfall ever. Finally got that done, thanks to help from the internet and Katie. And I got 567 other Pokemon pictures. I'm actually kind of surprised this gave me 2000 size points because he doesn't, doesn't fill the frame as much as I thought it would, but I was really happy I got that. This is from the four star. Uh, this was not the first time I triggered the four star Sobble and Leafy on event. The first time I went behind it during the day, I accidentally triggered it and I got pictures of it from a distance. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do that again. And I got this leafy on one, which I'm very happy with. Timed it perfectly while it was looking at me, upset by the onion fumes from Sobble. <laughs> this is a four star on pheasant photo that I got last night, actually. I got it by accident once before. I know you can get a four star on pheasant photo by just upsetting the, uh, the mom in the nest and it will yell at you. But if you do it on later levels where the dad is there, he'll hop in the air. And I got a picture of him like it was just his legs. So it was not a very good scoring four star, but then I did it again and I got this photo. And maybe it could be higher scoring if I got the mom stationary there, because it's a lot easier to snap the photo. But this was timed so perfectly. It is in the middle of hopping rapidly when I got this photo. And so I don't know if I ever want to replace it just because I think it's more impressive than most people's four star and pheasant photos are going to end up being because it's like dead center, really good size points. The pose, I got almost a thousand for that. I'm just really pleased with it. Oh, I got background points for that. No, you don't get those every day. This is from my first ever run of the Meganium Illuminous spot. That's what I got. This is that one. Yeah. Pretty cool photo. This is a three star and pheasant photo. I actually had the game crash on me a couple nights ago. I did a run of the forest my first time ever in spring and uh, the game crashed. And so I got a photo just like this, but lost it. And so well, the next time I got into spring, I, uh, I did it again and I'm pleased. I think it's funny that my top, how many photos is that? My top 10 photos, two of them are on pheasant, two of them are meganium, two of them are Leafeon. Two of them are Celebi, and then you've got Volcarona and Xerneas. I've got a lot of repeats in my top 10. This Beware photo is I, I'm pretty pleased with. I, it's not three star, I haven't figured out four star Beware yet, uh, but I quite like it because I woke it up from hibernation and it was kind of yelling at me and it's like perfect size. Oh, not perfect size. Okay, I cut off its toes a little bit, but whatever. I'm really pleased with this photo. This Hoot Hoot photo scored really well. I think I got a lot of other poke. Yeah, I got a lot of other Pokemon points. I feel like I could get a better one because it's not right in, it's it's not a very balanced photo, but I think, I mean, it's here. This is from probably a level two run of it. It's just another Meganium photo. <laughs> this Lyperd photo I'm very, very proud of. It was from, I think my first ever run of Jungle Night. It's a really cool photo. It's in the thumbnail for one of the episodes of the series on my second channel. I'm really pleased with it. 
and the auto wasn't gonna take it. The auto was gonna do a way worse photo. And I'm, if you, the auto can really help a lot of times, but you have to double check it because it makes a lot of bad decisions. So just keep that in mind. This is Ho-Ho. I was uh, pretty pleased with myself. I found it by accident the first time. You like start the volcano level three and you turn to the right and then it's there. And I was like, oh my God, in the distance. And then I noticed the rainbow wing. I hit it with an Illumina orb, but then I didn't see the second one. So it didn't show up the first time. Then I did it again and saw it the, the second one in like the blue lava area. And then I got this photo. I think this might be the second time I triggered it, but I was pretty pleased with myself for setting this up myself. Don't know how to get four star yet or three star, but really good ho-ho -oh photo. This Aerodactyl is a four star photo. Um, I honestly don't know why it's scored as high as it is. It's getting a lot of size points, which I don't fully agree with. A thousand placement points, 968 direction points. It's not looking at me at all. Some of these scores are weird. <laughs> like, I don't understand how this is almost perfect direction points when it is looking completely to the left. This is the only good, even mildly good photo from my first run of the Steelix thing. I've only done it once. I need to do it again because I did not do very well the first time. This is like one of the only good photos I got. And by that, I mean, it's the only okay photo I got. Really pleased with this Graveler photo. Big fan of that. Just took a picture of him, happened to time it perfectly. So it was looking at me. I like this one a lot. This Flygon photo. I uh, was really excited when I got Flygon for the first time and was doing all sorts of things. I did a bit of looking up for this, but I was really happy with this with this shot. I uh, Obviously it could be a bit more centered, but I got it just in the moment of feeding the trap engine. I think that's cool. This is a pretty standard Altaria photo. Altaria is really easy to get good photos of. This Espeon photo, don't know why it's four star, but I think it's cool. Worthy of note, a Jirachi photo, 1500 pose points, my God. Pose points are things I will never fully understand. Cause like, it's just flying. This was for my first ever run of the reef, an episode I posted that's already up as of recording this video. I get that picture in that episode and I'm really pleased with that. Pissed it off with an apple, got it looking right at me. I can't believe it's not more size points, but whatever. Really cool Typhlosion photo, perfectly timed with the blasting fire, looks so cool. I wish Typhlosion was like that all the time, to be honest. Four star deerling photo, it took, I had to look up how to trigger the alternate location at the end of Elsewhere Forest. But I don't feel bad looking it up because I was like, I saw that deerling and then that sauce buck looks sad. How do I make them connect to each other? And I'm still not entirely sure how to do it. It took me a couple tries. I knew you're supposed to light up the crystal blooms, but it took me a couple tries before it actually worked. Thankfully that just unlocks the second ending location forever. Um, but. This was not from the first time I succeeded. I just lured it there and I got a picture of it midair and it's really cool. Some little bound sweets. They look nice. Bulbasaur, most of my Bulbasaur photos are with its eyes like, just looking annoyed or unimpressed. <laughs> one of my first ever photos of Yan Mega. I like this one. See, look, this is what I was talking about. Sawsbuck looking upset. It's like looking for the deerling and you have to reunite them, which I finally did <laughs> after multiple tries. This Slugma photo I was so happy about. He's so happy. Look at him, little Slugma. Oh, gorgeous. Lotad, I got this last night. I uh, was like, I know I could get four star here. Once I found that secret area, I was like, I gotta get that. And so that's a pretty, pretty good photo. Pincer midair in the desert. I feel like a lot of people have gotten this one. Charmander being happy. I like it. A Shinx just straight on got me a lot of points. <laughs> There's the whale, whale Lord photo we saw earlier. Another Yan Mega photo. This was taken on day one, actually. One of my first ever photos of Yan Mega. So pretty happy about that. Sigilyph freaking out. I don't exactly know what causes it to freak out. I know it's supposed to be like setting off an alarm that you're in there but I don't know if it's triggered by it just seeing you or you like scanning or what, but I somehow triggered it and I got a photo of it that looks really cool. All right, yeah, one of my first, I think this is my first good Celebi photo. Looks pretty, pretty in there, in the center. Three-star Archaeops Intimidation Station. One of the first time, I think this is the first time I actually got Glalie to turn around. <laughs> Charmander celebrating. Like I said, I've done a lot of the volcano. Oh, this is from the time I uh, just knocked the Morlol unconscious. I think that is a, a sleeping buddies. Yeah, no, it's a sleep. I put it to sleep. This is an accidental frillish photo. <laughs> it got 4,600 points. Somehow got 2,000 size points, even though so much of it is cut off. But I was just trying to take a picture of the Finneon and then it went whoop and it got it. <laughs> this beautiful photo I'm really proud of with the picturesque 
waterfall background right in the center. I don't think I'll ever top this one. This is from a Ho-Oh photo I got flying over in the volcano. If you go to the right path where the blue lava is and like there's that opening at the top, there's like the volcano crater at the bottom where that Charmander runs around and you can knock the Graveler down. There's Ho-Oh flies over the top and I got that, which I was pleased with. This is a really good Braviary photo at night in the winter uh, course. I need to do the Snowfields course more. My, my Lodic photo. Uh, that I got to complete that Illumina run. Need to do that some more. Piggy peck, piggy pecking. This, oh my God, the Venusaur. Mm, I got this by accident recording. I tried to get it. You lure the Arbok over to the sleeping Venusaur in Jungle Day level three. And event like the Arbok is supposed to scare the Venusaur off. Then the Venusaur shows up here. I got that to happen. I got this photo, but it wouldn't jump into the water. I didn't know how to trigger that. So I know what to do. You lure the Arbok over to the Venusaur with apples and it scares it off. I have tried 20, 25 times to to get it to happen again and I haven't been able to get it to happen again. I'm furious. I don't know why it's so hard and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've gotten the Arbok in the Venusaur's face and thought I woke it up, but I didn't. And I try to wake it up by hitting it with an apple, but then the apple I use to wake up the Venusaur just lures the Arbok away. I don't know what to do. If you have any wisdom, please tell me, because I want a four-star Venusaur photo, which I'm assuming is it jumping into the water, you catch it midair, but I haven't been able to do it again. And it's just like, my God. Pretty standard Stoutland photo, hit it with an apple. <laughs> this is my first ever photo of Caterpie. I don't know what I did to trigger it spinning around, but I got a freaking incredible photo on my, like one of my, I think it might be my first run of Park Night. So really happy with that. Yeah, look at that. April 30th at 9.17 in the morning. <laughs> Three star Dodrio. I need to get four star Dodrio. I've maxed the level on those courses, but I need to, uh, I saw John's video. He got it like leaping in the air. I need to do that somehow. Really cool Blastoise photo. I love this photo. A lot of people get it, but I just think it looks really cool. Machamp chilling on a rock. <laughs> Machamp looks so happy. He's just having a good day. Sleeping Quagsire, pretty standard. Altaria happy at me, hello. I don't know how to get four star Alt Altaria yet. Tangrowth, eating something. Noivern, pissed. <laughs> Just so pissed and unimpressed, hit him with an apple. <laughs> Another uh, Neuvern photo, three star. Filled that frame well. Machamp swimming. I need to, I'd like to get a better photo of that. I've got more time. I've got, I need to spend more time on those courses. Ariados, straight on, sleeping, glowing, beautiful. I got Sawsbuck uh, scratching its face. Uh, so that was cool. The Tyrantrum in the volcano is my favorite freaking thing. It's horrifying. Being right next to those enormous, Beast, it really does make you feel like you're in Jurassic Park. And I've gotten just so many photos of Tyrantrum that I just, I absolutely love. Three star Luxray, I don't ever need another three star Luxray. This photo is, I love this photo. The pose is just so cool. Kangaskhan yelling at me, Exeggutor sleeping. This one was scored pretty highly, even though it's kind of difficult to tell what's going on. <laughs> Whooper, I love this Whooper photo. Just like, you what? You what? <laughs> I feel like Small Ant would uh, very much appreciate this photo. <laughs> Four star artillery, fending off the Seviper. Finally, it's been, it gets scared and like abused in so many different levels and I finally capture it standing up for itself and I love it. This Xerneas photo got a lot of points even though a lot of it is cut off. I love this Umbreon photo. Waking it up mid sleeping and I got it at the perfect moment where its eyes are open. Oh, it's so cool. Slugma, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward Trevenant photo, pretty straightforward photo. Aha, here's some cool, cool Tyrantrum photos. Got it roaring at me. I love that. I love that it makes like the sound waves. I love Tyrantrum. The volcano is one of my favorite courses in the game. Another whooper. I can't tell if it's an upset or angry. <laughs> but you do for God. 99. Like I said, it's pretty easy to get high scoring photos of Altaria. Ooh, I love this Sharpedo photo. I, I like, the Luminion, it was harassing the Luminion and Finion. Look, they're celebrating. The Finion are celebrating because the Luminion scared it off, but I got the Sharpedo as it was turning away, and this photo is so cool. Pretty standard Trevenant photo. A lot of the Foggy Forest ones are hard to see, but they count. Charizard mid-flight. Sleeping Dodrio, pretty standard. I got Noibat, sound-waving food for whatever reason. I love this Heliolisk photo. Oh man, I like Heliolisk quite a bit as a Pokemon. And I love this photo. There was another photo I got that I should have saved to the album, which I, but I didn't think to. And it's a picture I got right after it like returns to normal from doing this. 
and it looks just like a normal Heliolisk, except its head is still glowing yellow. It only counted as a one star, so it wasn't a better photo, but I should have saved it because it was a really cool photo. But this just, I love how this looks. That, that, that just looks so cool. Another Ardia Dose photo. Oh, the four star Vivian. I, uh, I did look up how to do this one. Um, I didn't figure it out on my own. I think this is on my second try of executing it and I got some really good photos there. I, uh, quite pleased with that. I don't know, chilling. Man, Ty and celebrating. Trevin and angerating. I love this Golurk photo. I got this last night. And obviously the, the main one is like off to the side, but the two of them together, both glowing, just looks awesome. How did this only get a hundred and, or, or how did this only get 87 other Pokemon points? I'm actually really su surprised I didn't get more. It's got a whole other Golurk in there. And a Natu. Speaking of Natu, I think it's really funny how like four star Natu is like the easiest category to get of Natu because it's just sitting there sleeping. <laughs> this is four star Archeops. I don't really know exactly what counts as four star Archeops. I got it by accident. Could probably try and get a better one later. I mean, this is still 4,400. It's just a weird photo because it's not looking at me. I don't know. I love this Swana photo. So cute. Just keep swimming. There's our boy. Got that on one of my, I think maybe my first ever day jungle run. Another really good Swana photo, but we're chilling. Gorwan is leaving. Jinx dancing. This is, I took, I got so, I've had so many different one star Typhlosion photos, <laughs> but this one takes the cake. Apom, you got a turbo up to it at the beginning of level three jungle day and you can get a really good one here. Floor just been, I just, I, the floor just, it's it's so pleasantly easy to get cool floor just photos. Got it right as it was waving at me. I love it. This is in summer level three. Bulbasaur being happy with Pancham right there. Lots of other Pokemon points, my gosh. Heracross, I need to get more Heracross photos. Heracross is so cool. Crobat, it's got an apple right in the middle, but it looks cool. It's looking at me, it's waking up, look at that. Cool Noivern photo. This is from uh, level two of the Xerneas track. Straight on Pinsir photo, straight on Esper photo. <laughs> Zangus looks so intimidating there, I love it. This is like the ideal Magikarp photo, I feel like. I just like, it's picturesque with the reef. It's like dead center. I don't think I'll ever get a better one star Magikarp photo. <laughs> Sawsbug looks really cool here. It looks like it's like, putting forth effort to tread through the snow. And I just think that's really cool. I love this Luxray photo. This is like my first ever Luxray photo. Oh, I got some other Pokemon points because that one's angry in the background. Ooh, maybe I should catch that angry one next time. Maybe that'll be the four star. Torkoal, chowing down. I love me some Torkoal. This is not a very good photo. I don't know why it scored so highly. <laughs> Kecleon, pretty straightforward. Oh, this Buffalon photo. I've had so many different four star Buffalon photos because it's like, it's a three or four star if it has the, if you get the flower hat. Not hat, you know what I mean. But I finally got one where it was looking at me and I triggered it rearing up by hitting it with an Illumina orb. And I just really am pleased with this. Flareon chilling. Oh my gosh, I was so hyped when I got this for the first time. Pidgeot feeding it twice on the night and then it shows up at the end. Oh, I, I, I wanna do it again at some point. Um, maybe I don't need to. This is still a really good photo. Floor just again. Flygon, oh my gosh, I love Flygon so much. It was, it's once I realized what to do, uh, to get it to show up. I just, ooh, makes me so happy. Another Deerling photo, looking at the glowing thing, but not dancing this time. Apom walking, Houndoom walking, whoopee boy. Hey. I love this photo and I was, when I first got it, I was convinced it was gonna be four star. Uh, then I realized it has to be spraying it at the Seviper for it to be four star, but I still really like this photo. Gardevoir, one of my first Gardevoir photos when I finally figured out how to how to get to the winter stage and how to get to the second ending. I didn't know, I knew winter existed, but I didn't know a second ending existed for Elsewhere Forest until I looked it up on Cerebi because I would never, maybe I would have figured it out, but I didn't feel like figuring it out. I wanted to have fun. <laughs> Panch, I'm happy. Nine tails, looking pretty cool. I was surprised it wasn't a Lolan nine tails. Also, it kind of looks shiny because shiny nine tails is silver with the snow and like fog. Kind of looks like a shiny Ninetales. Here's Exeggutor sleeping. I need to get more Hydreigon photos. Hydreigon's really cool and I want more good photos of it. Luxray sitting. More lull, chilling. Pancham on alert. Tyranitar. I think I'm, uh, while well, these are all still diamond photos. Oh, okay. I have to, story behind this Applin fo photo. The first time I got through the, the first time I got through the spring level, I think I mentioned this earlier, my game crashed afterwards. So I lost some stuff there. I went in again and I got Autumn cause I didn't know at the time how like your actions during the first stage impact what season you go to. And I was upset because in that spring run, I got my first ever picture of Applin in the ruins area at the end. But then I went to Autumn and I got like really good Applin photos by accident. So it was cool. <laughs> 
Shiftry, Pelipper with Pukamuku, my first ever picture of Octillery. <laughs> Pichu is so cute. Another really cool Tyrantrum photo. I need four star Tyrantrum, but I'm not sure how to get it. I love this Chinchou photo and I'm surprised it doesn't score higher. Torkoal, Tangrowth. I have a lot of 4,300 photos. I'm going down by one point each time. <laughs> I'll go through these pretty quick. They're, they're less exciting the lower score you get, but a lot of really cool ones. I Man, I killed it with that bear tick photo. I can't believe that's not scoring higher. Maybe it could be looking at me more, but I love that one. Lycanroc. Arbok, you, I hate this Arbok so much. Will not, what, just wake up the Venusaur! Espeon upset. Behem. Archaeops in the middle of taking off, cooking some food! Why is this scored so high you can't even see its eye? Really good one star Heliolisk photo right at the start. Seeing some of my photos here reminds me like, I still have so much more to play, guys. There's so many courses I haven't gotten like to max level and I there are so many star categories. I, I don't care as much about course score, but I really wanna fill out the photo decks. They don't all have to be diamond. Some Pokemon it's really hard to get good scores on because they're small Pokemon. Ooh, I'm pleased, I got this mid flight. That was a great photo. There's so many Pokemon it's hard to get high scores on because the Pokemon themselves are small. So you have to be super close to them to get them to fill the frame like Applin or Finneon. It's just so hard to get diamond on them because there's they, it's hard to get good size points on them. So I don't need, think I need to get diamond of every star category for every Pokemon, but I do want to get at least one photo of every star category for every Pokemon. Oh, this Vivian was an exciting discovery. <laughs> End of the park, just turn around. <laughs> and I wanna get max level on all of them. And I found, it was weird. The jungle day took me a lot of grinding to get to max level, but then other ones like volcano, and ruins and elsewhere forest. I just got max level just by like playing them a couple times. I, I don't know, maybe I've gotten better, but the jungle is, the jungles is tough. Oh, the first run I ever did, I was trying to take a picture of Wurmple and Emolga swooped in front. I got really excited and then it counted as a Wurmple photo. It happened again, but this one counted as an Emolga photo. <laughs> Drifloon, Flygon doing a backflip. That was my first ever time summoning Flygon. I did the Volcano so many times because I wanted a better one star Aerodactyl than I had. And I finally got this one and I was happy with it. Esper doing crazy stuff. Magikarp having a nice little snack. And I have a lot of over 4,000 photos. I was like, I'll go until I stop getting diamond photos, but clearly I have a lot. I'll just go faster. I love the four star Survivor. So happy sharpening his tail. Charizard looking cool. Metapod, beware. I love this Sandy Gast photo. I love this Sandy Gast photo. It's not as high scoring because obviously it's not centered. I mean, the size is, is only 1500, but the pose got me a thousand points. This is the first time I ever made Sandy Gast do this. And I just think this looks so dope. Honestly, I like kind of want to pick this one to upload because I just think it's so cool. Like the framing of it, I think is just like, I love this photo. We'll go kind of fast until I get out of the diamond range. And then I'm gonna upload the Sandy Gas photo and you should all go to my profile and give me sweet medals for it. Whalmer, Oofalant sleeping, covered in nauseous gas. A ducklet mid flight, I was pretty pleased when I got that. Blastoise eaten, <laughs> just being rude to an Alomomola. <laughs> Grandpa. Another good, uh, I don't know why that one's two star and the other one was one star. I don't understand those things, but I was happy with that photo for sure. Slacking, I don't know. I, at night, I don't know. Slacking is a, a mystery. I love this superior photo. There's some photos that are high scoring that I like don't think are very good. Then there's other ones where I'm like, oh, that is a masterpiece. And that superior one I think is really cool. Got it mid like pissed flex. <laughs> I need to get more Lapras photos. Lapras is gorgeous. We're almost out of the 4,000. <laughs> Just the back of Celebi. Silicobra, Vesp, I need to get Vespaquin to show up. I've only gotten it to show up once. I mean, I've only tried once, but there's so much to do if I want to fill out my photo decks. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to look some stuff up, but I'm gonna do as much as I can without looking it up. All right, cool. Let's get that Sandy Gast photo uploaded. All right, there we go. Got the Sandy Gast uploaded. Feel free to go to my profile and give me sweet medals. We'll see where I'm ranked. These are gonna be bad because I there are a lot of courses I haven't even done a single time since beating the game and unlocking course scores. Uh, Cause I just tend to do like one course over and over and over and over again. But let's look at total photo deck score. Among my friends, I'm uh, second. Ruby's done a lot, my God. But I'm, uh, I'm crushing Katie. Haha, <laughs> Katie. 
I'm not crushing her. I'm not very far ahead of her. <laughs> but I'm crushing Pokemon 7. Because he focuses more on core score like a friend. And then, what am I in the world? 4,600. I must improve. What's top 100? 3.6 million. Thank you guys so much for checking out my best picks from new Pokemon Snap. I'm going to take a lot more, but I'm uh, not going to make a video about it. <laughs> so just give me sweet medals, all right? Thank you so much for watching. And an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you can help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, you got to catch them all.